the Anchorite Lighthouse and Inkwell on Sakalumi. On Sakalumi Island, at the entrance of Sansuka Bay, is the famous Sakalumi Lighthouse, the graceful spiral design of which is said to be modeled on the shell of a Turatella sea snail. Subdivided into 16 floors, each consists of a single cell, which gets progressively smaller as one moves up from floor to floor. A tiny window on one side and a door on the other leads to an external spiral staircase that winds its way to the columned cupola at the apex and its beacon fire at night kept constantly burning. The staircase is not used by the ascetics themselves since they are determined never to leave their narrow living quarters. It does, however, allow for the lighthouse keeper to bring each a daily ration of bread and goat's milk as well as occasionally to collect their chamber pots. The only time these hermits will leave their cells is to move up to the next one when its occupant dies. Intent on purifying the mind and soul through the mortification of the body, each ascetic aspires to reside in the very highest and thus the very smallest of the 16 cells. Occasionally, a truth seeker will consult with the ascetics. The presence of these ascetics is viewed as a public good. They provide wise counsel to the numerous pilgrims who come to them with existential questions or personal dilemmas, seeking a straightforward, unambiguous solution to their problems at hand. They will begin with those on the lower floors and then moving upward as the answers become more refined by the accumulated wisdom, or, just as likely, disputed by those dwellers more elevated and enlightened. Sakalumi Island's other chief point of interest is an antique stone monument, a narrow and slightly inclined broken pillar emerging from a circular basin popularly known as the Zaponaki, or Inkwell. Predating the founding of Sensuka itself, the ruin is seen as a monument to creativity and the popular legends about Sensuka's founding. One such story, which has been passed down from generation to generation, is that the whole of Sensuka and everyone in it, along with its history, customs, beliefs, longings, despairs, everything else was just dreamed up in the mind of a lonely man in quarantine who found himself with too much time on his hands, looking back on his life and feeling that he had mostly missed out on it. That explains a lot, laughed the young people who still believe that a far better world is possible.